name is Monse. Welcome to my channel. Thank you very much for checking in. This is going to be a warm up for runners or for those of us who perhaps uh, don't consider ourselves runners, but um, uh, started running maybe during the pandemic uh, to, to relieve stress. Yoga and running are very good complementary practices. So if you could do these stretches before you go for a run or a long walk, uh, that might, you might find the benefits of it. Um, you might find your run becomes a bit easier and less injury prone as well. So we're gonna start on our knees, sitting on your knees. We're gonna start with a child pose. Uh, you can open your knees as much as you like to and then just come forward. And we're gonna start by simply checking with our breath. So as you know, if you're running, you need to have quite, it's nice to have some control of the breath. So bring the forehead to the floor. If the forehead doesn't reach the floor, that's fine. You can also, sometimes I like putting my arms like a cushion in front, in front of me. So supporting my forehead. Try to, get, to reach the heels with your hips and then start checking in with your breath. In this posture, it's really, it's much easier. It's really easy to notice the breath going low into your lower back, your ribs. Try to see if you can feel it in your ribs, abdomen. And start, um, yoga is called Sama Briti, equal inhale and equal exhale. Trying to find equilibrium balance, stability, inhaling for four and exhaling for four, or perhaps, depends, could be inhaling for three or for five, it's up to you, experiment, see how you feel today. But yeah, trying to make the inhale and the exhale equal length, just noticing, checking in with the breath. Increasing our breath capacity and starting to prepare the body for the run. One more breath. And then slowly, slowly, with the help of your hands, you can come up, sit up. And this, even if you're not doing a run, is a great posture to do daily, especially if you're wearing shoes. <laughs> So tug your toes, come to your hands and knees, tug your toes, and it can be, it can feel very intense, okay? We're going to stretch our feet and toes. And so now start leaning back, leaning back, leaning back, okay? So your toes are all tucked in, all of them, 10 toes, even the tiny ones, and sit on your heels. If this feels too intense, uh, you can come forward and lean forward a bit. See, see where you are at, okay? Let's not suffer here. We're just stretching, not suffering. And again, just focus on your breath. Inhaling. And perhaps we can do a little twist to the left. And a twist to the right. Coordinating breath and movement. One more, one more, <laughs> twist to the left. And then another twist to the right, waking up the spine and then come forward again on your hands. Relief, you can give some tapping here if you want. That's a great relief. And now once again, sit back. Okay, so we stretch the back of the feet. Now we're gonna stretch the front of the ankles, feet and shins. So I remember when I first started running, I and had some shin pain and it was very, very unbearable. So come back, bring your hands behind you, open the chest, lean as back as you can, open the chest and then lift the knees up. You'll notice a big stretch on the top of the, of the feet, ankles and perhaps chin. Breathe here for a moment. If you want to challenge yourself, you can do no hands, hands up, but you don't have to. <laughs> Another day and then come forward. Awesome. Coming to all fours, tuck your toes, the hands are slightly forward. 
Squeeze the belly, start noticing the engagement of the core and squeezing the belly. Inhale, as you exhale, lift up, lifting the knees up slowly, 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 slowly until we come into a downward dog. Keep the knees softly bent. You can keep the heels up quite high up. We want to stretch the back. And then slowly, slowly, you can try stretching one knee, bending the other, and then stretching the opposite leg and bending the other. And take turns into which leg you're stretching and which one you're bending. Slowly, slowly, we're going to start getting into more um, um, dynamic movements because we're warming up. Okay, when you've done ped this pedaling a couple of times, you can go as fast or as slow as you want. See how you feel. Both heels up, both knees bent, and then stretch both at the same time. Bend, quite, quite deep bend, and stretch. Okay, look forward and start walking tiny steps to the front of the mat. Nice, nice, nice. Feet are hip width apart. I'm going to show you. And, and parallel. And just hang in here for a moment. The knees can be also softly bent. Or bend them as much as you need to. You don't have to have them straight. Actually keep them bent and hang there. Lovely. Breathe, 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 breathe. Now bring the hands to your hips. Look forward, look forward, look forward. The knees are still bent, the spine is straight, squeeze the belly and using the strength of your legs, come all the way up. Lovely. Now the right leg comes behind the left and bring both hands to the sky. Grab the left wrist, I'm gonna sh show you another angle, grab the left wrist and side bend towards the right. So you start feeling a really long stretch here. Again, making space for the breath. Increasing our lung capacity, opening the side of the body, and then come back up. And this time, come back forward, 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 forward. Again, you can bend the knees. This is quite a nice, lovely stretch. Bend the front leg and feel the stretch on the back one. If you don't reach the floor, fingertips, bend more the knees or put the hands on your shins. That's absolutely fine. You'll feel it. Be, start getting aware, being aware of your body. Okay. Now uncross, hands on your, on your hips and once again, lift up using the strength of your legs. Okay. Now it's the left one that comes behind the right. Arms up again, and as you exhale, grab the wrist and twist to the left. Again, making space on the side of the body. Breathing in for four, breathing out for four or three, but being aware of the breath. You're gonna be, you're gonna be breathing. You want to be aware of what you're doing when you're running. Come back up, and now we're going forward. Come down, and again, bending the knee. You can let the head be heavy and the back leg having a nice, lovely stretch. Again, if you don't reach the floor, it's not important. You can be on your, on your, on your um, fingertips or the hands on your um, shin. And remember, you can bend the knees as much as you want to. And then uncross, bend the knees generously and come up straight back. Okay, hands up, hands by your side. Once again, just focus here. Hip is stable. Focus on your breath. Starting to notice the sensations in your body. Once again, bring the hands up. Stretch, 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 then open the arms, come forward. Coming forward. Hands reach the floor, bend the knees as much as you need to so the hands can reach the floor. And now the left leg takes a big stretch, a big step back 
and we are in what's called runner's lunge. <laughs> so in yoga, we call this runner's lunge and because it looks like we're going to lunge ourselves and come back and forth a bit. So notice my heel is going back and forth. I'm also working with my toes, my leg, my, my feet. And you don't want to have the heel too, back, too far back, a bit higher up. So you're really working on the hip flexors here, stretching here. Breathe and then drop the knee down. You can keep the hands here, chest up. Breathe. Now un untuck the toes if you want, you don't have to. And as you exhale, stretch the front leg, lift the toes. Inhale forward again and lift the chest. So we're really noticing it here, exhale. Stretch. You don't have to stretch the leg completely. It can be bent. The toes are up. You'll feel it. <laughs> Inhale forward. Two. I'm going to do two more. Three. Opening the chest. And four. Forward. One more time. Five. Stay here for a breath. And again, you don't have to keep it straight, keep it a slightly bent. Notice when you feel it, start dropping into your body, noticing what it demands. Then come forward. Now both hands are inside and walk the foot to the um, outside of the mat or quite wide. If you don't have a mat, it doesn't matter. Quite wide. And I'm gonna show you from like an angle. Okay, so you will have the hands here, the foot is quite open, and you can start opening the knee by resting on the outside edge of the foot. You can keep the hands here, really opening, stretching this part. If you have the flexibility, you can bring the elbows down, you don't have to. Breathe. And then come back up. Come back up. Put. Now the foot between the hands, lift once again, runner's lunge, and come into that downward dog. Push the hands against the floor, bend the knees, stretch the back, and then once again, walk to the top of the mat. Breathe, let go here, and now it's the right leg that goes back. Runner's legs with the right left foot in front and once again we go we move back and forth just by moving the heel back and forth and now the heel is quite high up and notice the difference notice the stretch in your hip flexor breathe here knee down chest up you can keep the hands down on the floor you can bring them here See how you feel. Every day will be different. Inhale here and now again, working with the breath. Exhale, lean back, toes up. Inhale forward, open the chest. Exhale, lean back, toes up. Two. Inhale forward, exhale. Inhale forward. Notice how you go further each time. Exhale, four. Inhale. And exhale, five. Take here for one breath. And again, just notice we are all different. You want, it's almost as if you wanted to see what's behind on the sole of your feet. Ooh, what's that? Just notice the stretch. Come forward. And once again, walk the foot outside the mat or quite wide. Both hands are in and lean on the outside edge of the foot. So you're opening here. And you can start high up here. Or if you find the flexibility, you can bring one elbow down, perhaps two elbows down. You don't have to. Experiment, okay? Maybe today you do this and next time you do the warm up, something is slightly different. Okay. And then come back into downward dog. From here, inhale, 
exhale. Next inhale, lift the right leg. Doesn't have to be too much and just bring it, squeeze, 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 bring it between your hands. Again, you're in that runner's lunge, but slowly, slowly use the strength of your feet and lift up, legs strong, start engaging the legs and stable. Find the stability in your core and in your hips. That motion we're gonna do when we run. Arms up, stretching the sides of the body and exhale, hands down. Coming to downward dog again. Breathe out, breathe in, left leg goes up. Again, doesn't have to be too much. Now bring it between the hands. Make sure that you're not a tight rope, that there is a space. And then slowly, slowly start lifting up, lifting up, using the strength of your legs, engaging the glutes, arms up. And exhale, hands down. One more time each side. We're warming up for a run. Remember, leg up, exhale, bring the foot between the hands. And again, you can do any version. You can stay here. Lift up. This time, you can keep the hands down, hands up. Bring the knee, the left knee to touch the floor and up. Glutes waking up. One more time. And up. And again, hands down. Inhaling, the left foot goes up. Now comes between your hands. Remember, quite wide stance here. And again, using the strength of your legs, lift up. Hands up. Exhale, right knee kisses the floor. <laughs> and up. <laughs> One more time. Finding the stability in your core and in your hips. You're gonna need it. And then hands down, and this time, both feet at the top of the mat and lift up. Okay, last thing we're gonna do <laughs> before we go, I, I hope you're feeling the energy now. I hope you're feeling a bit warmer. Okay, so a bit of a quad stretch. Bring the left foot towards your bum. Okay, and grab it with both hands. You can lean on a wall, on a railing, on whatever you want, on a piece of furniture. You don't want the leg to do this. You want both knees together. Drive the left knee down towards the floor. Breathe. Noticing the stretch in the quad. The quad is this big muscle here in your thigh, the thigh muscle. Grow tall while your knee goes down. Now, hands on your hips, knee up, roll your ankle. One, two, three, four, the other direction. Two, three, four, and let's do a hip opener. Bring, bring, I'm gonna just show you from the front. Bring the ankle just above the right knee, left ankle, and start sitting. Ooh. <laughs> Sit, 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 sit. And again, touch a wall, touch a curtain. If you have problems with the balance, with time, you won't need to lean against anything. We're strengthening the leg, supporting leg, the ankle, and opening the hip here. Let's do the other side. Lift up. Squat stretch. So again, grabbing the right foot both knees together, so we're not opening. You're lengthening, lengthening. Think tall, squeeze the belly. Think of the breath again. Breathe. Can we breathe in equal parts and serenely? When we go for a run, we don't want to panic. We want to breathe easily. Inhaling for four, exhaling for four. Now bring the knee up and rotate the ankle. Two, three, four, the other way. One, two, three, four. Ankle on top of the knee and start sitting in a tall, invisible chair. <laughs> and again, you can have the hands in front of your chest to squeeze the belly. Breathe. Remember, you can lean up, touch, grab anything you need. Breathe. 
then using the strength of your leg, come back up. And for a moment, just stand still, noticing what happened, what the sensations of your body. You're probably that warm and energized. Now bring the arms up. Open your eyes. Ah, do a big ah. And you're ready. Let's go. <laughs> if you like this video, please, please, please subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment. Let me know if you like more like this, if you like them shorter, longer, if you, um, yeah, what kind of other type of videos you would like. If you go for a run, how did it feel? And if you didn't go for a run, how did it feel? <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs>